Okay, we have a need to get a TFTP server uh, so we can get our, our configs off of our uh, network devices. So uh, on the Mint uh, VM, I'm going to go install. I've actually already done this. I'm going to walk through the steps to install a TFTP server. So search for TFTP in the Software Manager. If you don't remember, to get to the Software Manager, you go Menu, Administration, Software Manager, and that opens the Software Manager. Search for TFTP. I installed this one, TFTP DHPA. So if you want the easiest time, uh, you should install that one. You need to have access out to the internet for this to work. So you, yours will say install. So once you get it installed, you have the uh, TFTP software installed. Uh, so then we need to do a few configuration things. When I first tried to connect, um, it did not work. If we look up here in my Wireshark capture from when I tried to connect, let me stop this. Stop. When I tried to connect, well, here's my window. It says error writing, permission denied. Actually, that's not the first error I got. The first error said, uh, yeah, permission denied. No, not permission denied. Cannot create file, or file not found. But anyway, so if I looked, I looked at the traffic, I was trying to make sure that my traffic was actually getting to the server. So I saw that I had uh, the incoming request coming, and then my reply was, file not found um, from the server. So it turns out that there's some configuration changes that I needed to make uh, for this software to work properly. Um, and I figured out what I needed by looking at the, at the uh, TFTPDHPA, by looking at the man page. Looking at the man page, I can't remember what the thing was. TFTP man, okay, man TFTP team. And it turns out that by default, the options it started with is does not allow you to uh, create new files. So allow new files to be created. We we needed to add that to the option. So on Ubuntu, there's a file in. Uh, Etsy default that has the settings. So uh, the first thing I did was add create to this TFTP options. Um, I saved the file and then I did service TFTPD HPA restart and that restarted. And then my next option was uh, after that I got permission denied is my error. So then uh, that sent me looking at permissions. And <clears throat> to know which permissions I wanted to look at, I needed to know where this thing was writing files. So the default location was var lib tftp boot. And if I look at the permissions on var lib tftp d boot, uh, I'll set up again. I look at the permissions on that directory only root has write access. So I'd, I would needed to add write uh, to other for that to work uh, if I wanted to use that location. I went a different route. I didn't want to be messing around permissions uh, just to be able to temporarily get files I need to move around. So I changed the TFTP directory to slash temp. I did that by copying this line and pasting it um, and then changing it to temp and then putting a comment in front of this line. And again, once you change the file, you need to restart the service for it to take effect. Restart the service. So that caused it to take effect. And the reason that worked is because slash temp is already world writable. So anybody can already write to the slash temp. If I was doing something where I was going to save these images on this machine for a long time as like a archival or backup, I would probably create a more permanent location for it, but basically we're going to be getting these files so we can move them off. So now in theory my TFTP server is running uh, with permissions that I can write to the location. So to get the get the configs um, off the devices, the command is copy run TFTP. 
Uh, run is an abbreviation for running config, so the force not, source file name is running config. Hit enter. This is on the ASA. You need to be connected uh, to the VLAN 2 um, interface of the Mint VM for this to work. So put in your, your VLAN 2 IP address. You can find that. You can find that in the network settings um, if you still have that up. And then uh, that's going to be the destination file name. So you can change that file name um, by typing something in there. So I call that asa-rich.txt. I went ahead and put the .txt on there because sometimes when you guys try to upload the files, it complains if there's not an extension. Uh, so I went ahead and put that on there. So you might want to do that too. I'm going to do copy run TFTP on the router. Same uh, type situation. It wants the IP address. And then destination file name. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to change the file name to router rich.txt. So then that is copied both of those files over. So if we want to go uh, open the little little uh, GUI file manager thing, so I know how much you guys love the GUIs. You double click that to open it. It comes up like this. Go to a file system. We want to go to slash temp. And then there are my two files. So once you get ready to upload those guys uh, to, to wherever you're going to upload them to, you can browse to slash temp and find them there. And upload them and that should be that is how you can get the TFTP server running on your system with the permissions uh, and root uh, and uh, location to let you write to it so you can get your configs off of your devices